Oh. What's to do? Oh. Doing me own editing. Is it the trial? <sighs> and after. I've got to stop thinking about what after. I imagine I'm going home and then I don't. I was going to wait till tonight, but you can have it now. What's this? Mind blockers. My sister's addicted, but she only ever writes on copies. I got her to photocopy all the originals for you. She do copies? Now, I know you've not done one before, but learning will keep the front of your head nailed down. Nailing down is exactly what my head needs right now. Hmm. Don't know how to go through this without you. Hey! Don't get soppy or I'll back. Anyway, sorry, selfish. Stop you from keeping me awake with all your sighing and your rolling around. You'll not be sleeping much in the next couple of weeks, will you? Forward. Back up, you're moving. Oh, noticed I'm innocent. Come on, roll up. I'll be back in ten. Take you to your new wing. It's always the worst bit, this. Waiting for it to start. I'll enjoy it when I get there, will I? I'm only trying to help. I know. I'm sorry. Will your family be there? Me ma'am. The eldest. Oh, it's amazing how much that helps. Still can't believe this is happening. Hey, come on. A few more days and you'll be home. Or facing a life behind bars. Oh, look. You didn't do it. Anyone can tell. Pity you're not on the jury. <laughs> hey, I'd, uh, I'd give you my lucky teddy bear, but I didn't do me much good. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Anyway, good luck, love. Thanks. Yeah. You be brave, eh? I feel guilty. If I'd pushed him more, if I'd been a better wife, if if I'd listened more, instead of thinking everything was all right. You've said it, Gail. You've said it twenty thousand times. I know, but I... if you say it again, I am going to scream. <sighs> the truth is right. Your fella was desperate or crackers or both. And he got there all by himself, with no help from you. In fact, he would have got there long ago hadn't it been for you arriving on the scene. You didn't kill him. You loved him and you tried to save him. I did. Yes. Any other mud that they sling in court, they can kiss that. And don't you forget it. I won't. Right. Now, shut up and go to sleep. Wakey-wakey. Gail? I've made you some real coffee, love. And some fresh toast dripping with melted butter. Then you've got a nice hot bath and I've booked you a massage in the spa with Alfonso. Stop it. It's cruel. <laughs> it's called having a sense of humour. You're not going to get through a murder sentence it's without it. It's the last time I've done nothing wrong. Oh, especially now you kicked your mother into touch. Well, thank you for throwing that confidence back in my face. Roger. Anyway, my sister's applying for bail today. Should be home this afternoon. All right. Well, you've got nothing to worry about then, have you? Will you stop pacing up and down? You're putting me off his stroke. Oh, God forbid I should spoil a game of cards. It's not just cards. It's therapy. It takes my mind off things, does it? It helps me think about my kids. Have you... Have you ever been to Morecambe? Many times. Uh, took our Shanice there when she was about three. It was the first time on a beach and, oh, she loved it. She 
she played all day with a bucket and spade and then at home time she she didn't want to go and she started screaming her head off and I'll never forgive myself. Well she couldn't stay there forever. I know, but she lost some of that day. What? Oh, I don't know. Kids, eh? The pain, aren't they? <laughs> oh, this will be dawn of the dead. She's meant to be in a coffin during the day. Your solicitor's here. Fantastic. Well, uh, I'll say goodbye then, just uh, in case I don't see you again. Yeah, good luck, Gail. Thanks. I'll see you back here in about half an hour. Right, it does. It feels so good. Reunited because we understood. Oh? Not quite the welcome I was hoping for. Sorry. Not in the mood to celebrate. Don't tell me you prefer sharing a cell with Barlow. God forgive me. I hope she drops dead. I know she offered someone once, but what's she done to you? Ruined my life. That's what she's done. Oh, come on. You, you don't know that. She said, I confessed. If the police had any doubts whether I was guilty before, they don't know. I thought she was my friend. There I was pouring my heart out to her. She was just scheming behind me back. There's always a way to put things right. In a manner of speaking, I mean, that's if you're interested. What do you mean? Well, I know of at least half a dozen girls in here who'd be happy to bounce that grass down a flight of stairs for a phone card. No. Much as I hate what she's done, I can't do that. Why not? Because then I'd be as bad as she is. You really don't belong in here, do you? Am I really that frightening? Am I such a witch that my own husband can't even tell me the truth? I was trying to protect you. And I was trying to kill yourself protecting me. Insurance would have paid everything off. Just so long as it looked like an accident. I'm worth more dead than I am alive. For months I've been asking how work's going, and all you've said's fine. Why couldn't you just talk to me? How can I ever trust you again? Come on, we're going. That's him, Dad. Look, where are you going? Home, while we still got one. Wait, please. Look, I don't want to discuss this in front of Callum. Why not? I mean, if you're walking out on his dad, doesn't he need to know? Walking out? Listen, could you just let me deal with this? Danny, it may have been weak, and maybe you don't believe it right now, but he was thinking about you and Callum. If he'd been truly selfish, then he would have just run off somewhere and left you to face the music. He was trying to kill himself. How selfish is that? Look, he's got it into his head that he's failed. But at the end of the day, it's only money. I mean, that's all it is. Oh, that's easy for you to say when you're not facing repossession. Come on. Do you believe in marriage? What? Well, you obviously believe in sharing stuff, talking things through. I mean, isn't that what a real marriage is all about? Yeah, talking. You tell Danny that. By walking out now, you're doing exactly what Danny did. You're giving up. You're running away. You're not facing the problem. So what are you saying? Try talking to him again, if not for yourself, then for your son. Please. You're 